Hello and welcome to this GCSE Geography Help video. We're still looking at development and how we measure development and this week we're looking at life expectancy. So why do we use life expectancy as a measure of development? Well life expectancy shows how good the country's healthcare is. So if the healthcare is good, there's a high life expectancy. If the healthcare is low, there's a low health ex uh, life expectancy. So a developed country will have good health care and so good life expectancy or high life expectancy. So the positives of using life expectancy as a measure of development is it shows the government's spending on health care and this shows the government's priorities are the health and the life expectancy of their population. So they're not like an evil dictator who is keeping all the money and spending it on themselves. It also shows access to safe water supplies. If there's safe water, there's high life expectancy. And high life expectancy also suggests good dieting, thus good dieting research, which is basically, if you could afford good dieting research, then you're a developed country. However, there are some negatives, as there's negatives to everything. It can make countries, for example, the United States of America, that are considered developed look undeveloped for they have bad, in inverted commas, care systems or healthcare systems. Um, for example, in the UK, we have the NHS and that's free for everybody. Whereas the old system in America was you had to pay for it or take out insurance. So a country might have good healthcare and access to food and water would be controlled by a dictator that steals all the money. So, it's not really a developed country. So that's all for this week. Uh, see you next time when we look at the last measure of development.